Hey guys, how's everyone doing tonight? Farmer Mike here at the Kansas City Food Hub and I just wanted to hop on live and talk a few minutes about cold storage. Now, a lot of young farmers don't realize how important cold storage is. And it was, it was during learning the cold storage chain that Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm really became phenomenal because we were able to master the cold story the cold storage rather process. Now, um, cold storage is not something that you learn overnight. It takes a, a pretty long time to kind of figure it out because different crops have different temperatures they like. Of course, there are um, several um, industry data sheets that you can use and you can Google those online. And um, if you're selling to a, um, a big store, big supermarket, of course, um, they make that literature online for you available and so um, you know exactly what they're going to expect the, that uh, produce to come in at temperature wise. I think it was almost maybe nine years ago so um, I attended a workshop by Cultivate Kansas City and they had a phenomenal person named Chris Blanchard. He had a series of podcasts and I think they're still available online um, even though he has since passed away and he called it the Farmer to Farmer podcast. Anyway, Cultivate Kansas City brought him in and he was really able to break down over, I believe, a day or two, this workshop, really um, the process of cold storage and, and a lot of other um, stuff as it relates to planning and uh, business um, items. And so um, get online, Chris Blanchard, and check out um, any, of his, any of his podcasts if those are still available. But in it, he talked about cold storage. He talked about applying rinses, sanitation, and things like that. And here I am at the Kansas City Food Hub. And this is one of the coolers right here. And I'm not going to go all the way inside because the connection might drop. But um, once it comes into here, into these coolers, so there's a series of coolers. And then there's a, there's a, a storage room that doesn't get quite so cold for things like tomatoes. And then they have the deep freezers um, uh, for um, your frozen produce. And then there's another room, which is um, a refrigerated room. And I think it's about 30, 30 36, about 36 degrees, um, no higher than 40. I think usually they alarm it at about 40 degrees. So sitting around 36, 33, slightly above freezing. Um, so when you pick your produce um, out of the field, you want to drop the temperature of it and then you also want to put it in cold storage and the faster you can get it in the cold storage the longer your produce is actually going to uh to be usable so you want to get it in cold storage as fast as you can and um and that's really the trick now let's just say you don't have thousands of dollars um to to get one of these industry grade cold storage units <clears throat> For many years, I farmed in Ivanhoe, and um, they did it a little bit differently. And actually, they had a very, very um, well-built shed, and it was uh, insulated very well. And it was actually running a window unit air conditioner. And there's a device called the CoolBot. CoolBot. It's a device that um, you actually put in the fence of the air conditioner and it hacks it somewhat and so that it turns that ordinary air conditioner unit into like one of these Accord cold storage facility. Now, is it exactly like this? No. Does it have its quirks and faults and stuff? Yes, it does. But that is a very inexpensive way to get in the game. And if you have some uh, Wi-Fi sensors, you can, if something were to happen in that type of system, you can come and you can troubleshoot it um, and uh, be back in the game. But that's my note for tonight. Cold storage is the key. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tip. And, um, and also, if you think about it, if you're into great local produce, check out the Kansas City Food Hub because not only is it me, it's all these other great local farmers giving you a really great product. I'll show you some more. And a lot of these farms, most, most actually.
have been around longer than affiliates and are bigger than affiliates. Um, so you check them out. We're just one of the many farms at the Kansas City Food Hub. So I hope you enjoyed that tip. I hope you remember, get it cold, keep it cold, chart that cold chain, and, um, and I will see you at the top.